hello vlog and welcome to today's video currently my sister and i are outside and we're going to be doing a workout even though i'll tell you what i did not feel like it zero percent today my sister said i'm gonna go work out i was like uh, i forgot that working out existed and then when she said it i was like okay i'm just gonna do it because you know what this is gonna be the middle of my nine week streak of working out Technically 13 weeks, I don't know, what is it? Anyways, I'm just tweaking. The past couple days I've had a rough time with my schedule. I've been off schedule, like I normally have a schedule where I wake up in the morning at a certain time, I have like a routine and I've been out of that routine and my eating's been on out of whack. Um, and when I mean out of whack, I mean just like normally I have meals and snacks and then this time I've been staying up later and because I'm staying up later I think I just feel like I'm hungry and so since I'm up later I'm eating later too and so I just you know I woke up this morning and I told myself you know what today is going to be a good day you're going to be positive today you're going to choose joy and you're going to continue on with life because not every day is perfect okay I'm done if you guys watched out Nabby Ashley and I like to match um, like what character we are to a character on the show. She is Anna and I'm Mrs. Patmore. My mom is Lady Grantham. My dad is Lord Grantham. He's Lord Grantham. Yeah, that's our little mixture. It's kind of funny. All you can see. leg <laughs> oh. is she gonna do it again I'm so confused what is going on here oh oh and <laughs> Never gets old. Okay, now I'm gonna have a smoothie. But I've just been wanting one all day, right? So now's the perfect time. I just had a workout. Normally I put a protein powder in, but we don't have any protein powder at the moment. So I put in my almond milk like I normally do from Costco. Then I found this yogurt in our fridge. It's Oikos Triple Zero with 15 grams of protein. I was like, when I saw that, I was like, okay jackpot i have something that will give me protein so i can continue the growth of Ugh. that was as hard as i could flex it for that one moment oh. i'm really proud of it so i'm gonna put frozen berries in the smoothie too and i'm so excited to see how it turns out i'm gonna talk to you guys on the way up because you couldn't figure that lock out like i'll just Ooh, the battery's almost nothing. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Um, so I wanted to just say right now that I'm about to be going to play tennis and I was hoping that I was gonna be able to film some footage so I'll try to keep the short so that I can record some while I'm playing tennis there. But um, this is also part of kind of my workout routine. Basically, it's fun exercise for me. I seriously never thought in my life that I that I would ever find an exercise fun because, I mean, it's exercise. So, I used to equate exercise with death, pain, horrible poop, diarrhea. Now, I see exercise as a way to give myself endorphins, which I love. And it also makes you feel more confident. It's like pushing past the first six weeks, four weeks of painful exercise that you hate to finally like feel like you're in a rhythm and you enjoy it. So I hope that was motivating.
currently in my bathroom because I figured it was kind of good lighting, but also I could set my camera on top of my windowsill. I feel like I'm in one of those um, makeup videos, you know, where the celebrities are like, this is my makeup routine, and they're always in the bathroom. Yeah, anyways, um, this is the little snippet of me showing you guys our workout routines from the week, which I said that I would do in vlog number three. Three days a week, I like to do HIT training. Now, HIT training is high intensity interval training. I do it for, I do seven minutes on for four rounds. So it equals about 28 minutes. And in between each seven minutes, I just take a little 30 second break. And I follow a program by a lady named Kayla. Um, I'll just screenshot her Instagram, but we got her program a long time ago, back when I think it used to be PDF format. I think she has an app now, so it's different. But basically it's just, she has all these workouts pre-made for you. So you just follow the workouts. This one's 12 weeks. It's just really nice for me because I don't trust myself to create a workout routine and stick to it that lasts for a very long time. And so this is positive because I can do it for 12 weeks, which is three months. So it's a long time of doing it. And currently in the middle of week eight and basically you just build muscle, you it's body weight plus a couple weights. I mean, it's like at home stuff. Um, some of it requires gym equipment, but it's like minimal, like dumbbells. Um, basically, I just use dumbbells and whatever I have at home. So yeah, those are three days a week. Then on my other days, Ashley and I have been doing a running app called, it's something like Couch to 5K or it could be something else. So basically it just works you up slowly, run, walk, run, walk, till you get to three point whatever miles it is at the end. Now, if we don't do that, then I also like to just play tennis. And for me, this is fun exercise. This is what I like to do at the end of the day or in the middle of the day to have a break just doing something fun hitting the balls around you get a little cardio um it works your calves really nicely but basically it's just fun like that's what i love about it it's just fun i have a good time get a little competitive but also laugh and don't take yourself too seriously like i said we are not workout geniuses in fact i would say my workout journey is extremely random because I used to not be able to work out more than one day a week. And what changed for me actually was quarantine. I used to go to a gym. I really am not a public workouter. Like I just don't like it. I've heard the sayings like the more you go, the more you'll get used to it, you'll be fine. But like the more I went, I still was uncomfortable working out in front of people. It's just not my thing. It could be my introvert side coming out. Um, insecurity definitely is there too. So when it was quarantine and I had to work out at home, like I was kind of gung-ho for it. And that's when I whipped back out these Kayla HIIT workouts because I knew I was like, okay, for three days out of the week, I'm gonna have a workout to do, which is already more than the one day a week that I would work out at the gym anyway because I didn't like to go. I didn't enjoy it. I like the machines, but I didn't enjoy being with other people that I didn't know um so being at home working three days three days out of the week was a big step up for me i love doing it at home um i normally don't like hit don't like hit workouts because it's really intense and i don't like going through the pain but i kind of was just like i'm just gonna push myself because one of my values is health so i was like i'm just gonna push through it and do it because in the end i'll be Thankful that I did. So right now I'm trying to talk really fast because we have music playing and I don't want to get demonetized. But basically we're doing a painting competition. Ashley picked out the picture that we're going to be painting off of. I said this in the last vlog, but we do painting competitions. Well, competitions, but just painting for fun where my sister, me, and my mom will paint something off of a picture off Pinterest that we find artsy and cute and then we see how they turn out in the end and they're all different and it's fun.
So everybody, I've recruited my sister because I don't know if you've noticed, but in our vlogs, we do two vlogs a week and she's in charge of one and I'm in charge of the other. So what it tends to be is it feels like one of the sisters is controlling the camera the whole day, which it should because that's what it is. But I really just wanted her to be a part of my video because you haven't been. Although you are in the video, you'll see. I'm scared. Your leg is in the video. Weird. Can I have permission to post it without you seeing it? No. <laughs> We're chat. Anyways, so now I decided that I wanted to do a last little bit of competition moment with her. Now, we're both competitive people, but last night I was really just trying to have an emotional bond and connection with my sister when I was showing her my Pinterest fashion board because I'm an extremely um, emotionally attached person to the fashion pieces that I put together. I consider myself to be a fashionista even though I dress hobo chic. So my Pinterest board is there for me for inspiration. Eventually one day I'll get to being a Pinterest diva. For now I am totally fine with quarantine hobo chic. But I was showing her the things that I pinned on my board called dresses and she was roasting me. She was saying everything was ugly. She's like, why are you I like dumb. She was like, why are you pitting all that same girl? Let me go to bed. I was like, <laughs> so now I was like, okay, for the last little roundup, I want you to be in the segment of the video. I'll put the pictures here on the screen that I'm talking about. This is going to be a fashion review. Things that I like and Ashley's opinion on it. Let's put this one up on the board. Now with this one, I'm telling you, this is why I say, not everything that I pin I would wear. Because I don't think everything that I pin is flatters my body shape. This skirt's a little short in this dress, but I love it. It's, it's farmer town, but cute farmer town. Not a big fan of the shoes, but overall this outfit is cute. If I saw her at the farmer's market, I'd say, girl, go get on the runway. Thoughts? It's cute. It's cute. That's it? Okay, well give me a... I don't That's want to smart. be rude Give on me. the internet so <gasps> people who would wear this Stop! Me. No, you're allowed to have your own opinion, ding dong. It needs to be I would criticism. never wear it. Okay. I would never. So it would make me look like a rectangular box. Okay, same with me. It would make me look like a rectangular box. That's with, why I don't understand why you pinned it. sausages canned in up Why here. did Just you pin it then? Because it's cute and I love the essence. So out of 10. I don't know. This girl looks like she just is working on Hannah Montana's grandma's farm. Okay, <laughs> that is what I knew I was gonna get out of you. I think it's really cute though. Okay, well you like know what? You, but fashion, I'm I gonna think say, of someone walking down the runway. Okay, well it, I would love to work as on Hannah Montana's farm. Though. Me too. Have you ever seen Hannah Montana the movie? Fire. For this, if she was on Hannah Montana's farm, I'd give it a 10. Out okay, of 10. great. Let's do this one. This right here is, I pin this because it's comfy. I can almost feel the fabric through the screen. Completely amazing quality. I would lounge in it all day and night. I think the matching sweatsuit tones are very in right now and I love it. The quality comment got me a little. I could see the cat taking its claw sticking one thing in and there'd be a hole and moving it down bigger hole i don't know about the quality you could look at the other side of it it could be thin okay would you wear cheap. it i'd wear that at home you would not would you wear that to class out of 10 for me 10 it, out of 10 for an eight out of 10. outfit Ooh, i like this one okay would i wear it no but what I was thinking is the the pink, it's like monochromatic, right? It's a light pink, almost champagne skirt with the pink cardigan little button, buttons, the, the very dainty shoe, the classic look down pose, the location, everything is on point for me here. I'd like to see you wear that in real life. <laughs> I would never wear that in real life. I can't rate pins that you wouldn't wear. Really? It just doesn't make sense. Why hey, please leave a comment down below. Do you pin things only that you would actually wear, or do you pin things that you generally like? Because I pin I things that I generally like. I think that's good style, but I just want to 
spend my time pinning things that are realistic. Interesting. Okay, so we don't have a dreamer over here. No comments, okay. Okay, this one, give me some sugar on this. I love that. Oh! <gasps> That's cute. Stop. I mean the pose, the everything, the car, the Vienna. The bag is a little like mom. What? Library book mom. I thought you were gonna say the bag is everything. The bag is a little like, oh kids, like let's go get all our library supplies. Okay, but you're thinking, I love the black jeans. I don't like the bag though. I love how she tucks in that sweater and she puts a cute, cute double seashell necklace. Right, this is a 10 for me. Yeah, it's cute. Okay, let's end this last one off with a bang. Don't look, don't look. Those cheetah pants. <gasps> okay, she used to roast me my entire childhood for wearing cheetah, and now all of a sudden, she's into cheetah just because the whole world is. Wrong -o. You were wearing leopard, big different. No, I can't handle this. Okay, you know what it was? This version of leopard is adult, sophisticated, and she this. cute. I can't What she this. would wear is I can't. furry, vested, I can't. leopard printed zip up hoodies with <laughs> Taylor. Brown any long cheetah. sleeve. Any cheetah long I would jobs. wear. Any cheetah I would wear, you would have said absolutely. Okay, not. maybe it's because your whole wardrobe was cheetah. But here's the thing remember, I used to wear pink vested che cheetah thing. Because mom forced you. <laughs> And she picked it out for you and put it in your closet. You know what? I just realized that that video ended on such a weird note. I never even said goodbye. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope we didn't scare you too much. It was a lot of workout centered focus video, but I did get the request to do that. Um, so, I wanted to get it in this video. And I hope you guys have... An amazing week. We'll see you in the next two vlogs for next week. Bye!